Can we send in the next person, please? Mr. Jones, you may go in now. Uh... So what makes you think you stand out for this position? I mean, I... Uh, I mean, what, what kind of... What do you mean? So what makes you think you stand out for this position? Well, I like to wear really bright colors. Yeah, hey. I mean, um, you know, I uh, just, just, uh, students. I, Next. You know, I've, uh, I've had an, an internship. Next. So what do you think makes you stand out for this job? Well, uh, you know, thanks for the opportunity. I'm actually not really prepared for this. Next, 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 next. Can we send in the next person, please? Mr. Fletcher, you may go in now. Good morning, Tim Fletcher. Very nice to meet you. Take a seat. So what makes you stand out for this position? Well, a lot of things. May I show you? Yeah, sure, why not? What really makes me stand out is my experience. And it all started at NYIT. During my freshman year at the New York Institute of Technology, I took the required college success seminar, where I learned studying skills, time management, and effective communication. At NYIT, I was getting actual experience in my field to help me to realize this is what I want to do with my future. And NYIT offers a lot more than just technology. I had friends studying communication arts, engineering, education, architecture, and pre-med. There are over 100 undergraduate and graduate degrees available. And with most of my classes having less than 30 students, I could really get to know my professors. In fact, many of them are leading professionals in their fields, and they would always bring their experience and knowledge to each class. From engineers, doctors, and scientists, to digital artists and writers, my professors really knew their stuff. Almost 90% of the faculty at NYIT hold doctoral degrees. I was learning from the best. Uh, can I help you? Excuse me for interrupting. This is Professor Klein. He's one of my references. What's special about Tim is his passion to succeed. He understands that it's not just about academics, but gaining valuable working experience. Show him the video, Tim. The curriculum at NYIT focuses heavily on providing students with the skills, experience, and tools they need to succeed in their fields after graduation. We prepare students, like Tim, for the real world with a hands-on professional education and infuse the latest state-of-the-art technology into our teaching. We continually strive to teach our students what they'll need to know to succeed in today's workplace. And as a professor at NYIT, I act as my student's academic and professional mentor. Often I'll remain in contact with graduates long after graduation and try to help them in their careers in any way I can. But Tim has always been motivated to succeed. That's why he was always asking questions in class and participating in our group projects. So Tim, would you say you're more of a leader or a team player? Well, I... Tim is definitely a leader. Yeah, but he's also a team player. He helped lead our team to the finals two years in a row. Oh yeah? How so? Show him the video, Tim. Tim led our Division II lacrosse team to win the NCAA championships. On the field, on the court, and in the stands, sports are a major part of NYIT. Our Division I baseball team has produced 44 pros, and we've had four Olympians come out of our athletics program. We have several NCAA Division II athletics teams, both men's and women's, like soccer, cross country, baseball, softball, basketball, and volleyball. Yeah, but this is about Tim, remember? Oh yeah. Well, Tim was a big part of the NYIT sporting community. He was on the lacrosse team, the soccer team, and he played in several of the intramural sports during the offseason. He was also always hanging out at the new gym. No matter what he was doing, he gave it 110%. Gentlemen. Sorry I'm late. Judy Wells. Sure, why not? I was Tim's supervisor when he interned at my corporation last summer. Tim, roll the video. Tim was passionate about the work we gave him. He even knew some of the software and programs we used better than my employees. And he was always helping out in any way he could. But that's what we've come to expect from our NYIT interns. They know today's technology and they come into their careers with experience. And that's what many of today's companies are looking for. 
and the Career Network Center helped me connect with several companies in the area. That's how I met with Judy and got an internship. The center even offers students interview workshops, resume building, and referrals. Why do you think 84% of NYIT students have a job offer in hand at graduation? Tim, like all of the interns we recruit from NYIT, brought a lot to our company. He was eager to learn and would stay late to finish projects before big meetings. He went above and beyond for my company. So Tim, it seems like you really worked hard at NYIT. I did. But I also had a lot of fun, too. Hi, I'm Tim's friend, Jane. What's up? I'm Doug. We were roomies back at NYIT. Tim and I had a blast from freshman year all the way through graduation. Yo, show the video. When we roomed together, there was always tons of things to do on campus. NYT has residence halls near its Manhattan and Long Island campuses. Tim and I lived nearby in the Old Westbury campus for four years. And whether we were eating in the dining hall, playing pool, going to club meetings, working in the computer labs, or doing things off campus, there was always something going on. Yeah, and it's not like we didn't have the money to do all this stuff. Tim and I would always explore New York City together, going out to dinner, museums, and theater, because NYIT provides money for scholarships and financial aid. I think like 80% of all students get some type of financial aid. Right from the beginning, my parents and I sat down with a financial aid counselor who guided us through the entire process and got us the money I needed. And because of the affordability of my education, I had the money to go out more, which means I didn't have to eat freeze-dried noodles every night. <laughs> well, I'll be paying off my student loans for the next 10 years. Well, you certainly have brought more to the table than the other candidates. So I have one last question for you. When can you start? Right away, sir. All right. Well, good time. Well, well, well. All right.